It's always so nice to wake up to construction work. Good morning and welcome to vlog 34. Yeah, 34 already. it would be nice to tell you what I'm going to do today so today is going to be one of those days that I literally end up being a dead person at the end of it because I have so much to do today is one of those impossible days that I have so much crap to do I have no idea how I finish everything and I'm already off schedule so that sucks first of all I have class I have ethics 3 which is a philosophy class Second of all, I have to hand in all the documentation for a grant I'm applying to whenever I'm going to DC and I still have to finish the motivational letter then I have to print everything twice, scan it in, whatever then I also have to do some other things for my um, exchange such as changing my public transport card because I can't use it for six months when I'm in DC and I get like a bit of money for it so I have to fix that as well um, then I also have to work on a deadline I have this Sunday for um, for a paper for a philosophy of the humanities it's a paper about Gadamer and uh, it's the last paper that I have to write for that course and then I'm done but that's uh, a lot of work and um, yeah I have to hand it in this Sunday and I haven't really started yet so that sucks then I also have to already start studying for uh, the exam that I have on the 20th of June. After that I'm done with this academic year, I'm finally free, but I'm so behind with studying for that because I was so busy with other deadlines I had and my exchange and everything, so yeah, that's going to be hard, so I also need to do a little bit for that. And then I also have dance class and I um, need to finish writing a blog post. And I'm vlogging as well, which costs a lot of time, so um, yeah. This is an impossible schedule. I have no idea how I'm going to fix everything. Let's start with the beginning and fix my makeup. And I just quickly wanted to show you some new products that I received from Urban Decay. It's from their new limited edition collection. It's the Jean-Michel Basquet. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it uh, right. Uh, collection. It's actually a very famous artist. Um, and look at this. I mean, can we take a moment? for these colors. Haven't used them before so I'm going to use them now. And I also received a super cool palette. Look at these colors. They're so bright. The packaging is also super nice. It feels really nice. And then I also got this super bright eyeliner um, which I love to use in my waterline or underneath it. So pretty because it really makes my blue eyes pop. And this lipstick. Cool tone lipstick, very nice, kind of cool taupey nude. Um, so yeah, I am definitely going to try out this lipstick today and the palette. Okay, I really like it. It's very pigmented. Urban Decay is really known for its pigment, so this bronzer is definitely very pigmented. But it's also very blend. I'm going to apply. I think a mix between NoHo and X-Rated. That's the blush down and I think it looks very nice together. And now it's time for the highlighter. 
So my makeup is done right now and I definitely like it. I also love this lip color. I thought it would be a little bit too cool toned for me right now, but I actually think it looks very nice. So yeah, definitely a fan of the new Urban Decay collection. And now I'm quickly going to blow dry my hair because my hair is a mess right now. So I'm done blow drying my hair and um, yeah, it looks pretty big and poofy and frizzy right now. So I definitely have to straighten my hair and I recently received this new straightener from uh, Remington and this is actually a cap you can use to travel with which is very nice because it's silicone-y so even if your straightener is a little bit hot you can still pack it which is super nice because I always straighten my hair right before I go uh, to the airport so the plates actually don't touch the exterior of the styling iron and this makes it so much easier to style your hair because you don't really have to push that hard. So I'm done straightening and then curling my hair. I always do kind of a messy, wavy, I don't know, hair thing. Like, I like messy hair and my hair is always pretty big, but I think it suits me. It's kind of my big mark, I guess. But I did it all with this straightener and I definitely liked it. It's not the best straightener out there, but honestly, the straightener that I usually use is 200 euros and this one is way cheaper but with that being said the fun stuff is over i'm done with getting ready and um i have to do the real deal now and i have to start working on the gigantic to-do list i have to finish today so yeah i'm first going to start with my motivational letter that i have to hand in today quick outfit of the day because as always I'm freaking late so um, the jacket that I'm wearing is from Zara it's very nice and soft then I'm wearing this crop top from the full then this denim kind of midi skirt from I think it's Romwe and it will be part of my newest haul so um, yeah stay tuned for that I'm going to do a new summer haul with a lot of affordable pieces like this skirt and this is the first denim skirt that is actually comfortable for me to wear it's very stretchy and I think and then my shoes are from H&M and then I'm also going to grab my Gucci bag I think I think this is the outfit so yeah Op zo'n manier dat je dacht dat hij bijna moest overgeven. 
keek naar het strenge gezicht van de portier. En ik dacht, wacht maar, wacht maar Eikel. Jaren na nu, in een andere tijd, als alle studenten van u zijn afgestudeerd, en alle cafés andere namen hebben, als de kennis die hier werd opgeslagen voor een deel alweer achterhaald is, dan staat mijn foto op jullie website en mijn hijs is mij in de grote hand en hoog. Hey guys, so now with Ari in the bus, which is one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's a big statement. And uh, he also studies philosophy like me. So, oh really? Yeah, I study a lot of philosophy. So, um, oh. Well, I yeah. used to study philosophy. I dropped out, uh, had a hit so single in the top 40. <laughs> that's so. pretty cool. <laughs> If you want to become a musician, drop out of philosophy. Yeah. Hey. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Do you have I thought you were, uh, were going in depth interview for 40 minutes. Oh, well, of course. That's can what do. my agent said. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, okay, we'll leave it at this time. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. No problem. Uh, and uh, hopefully your career is going to be even cooler and more amazing than it is right now. We'll see. Yeah. And I hope the same for you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. <laughs> guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of screwed up today. As you knew, at the beginning of this vlog, I said that I had such a hectic schedule. And I knew that beforehand, but I still wanted to vlog this whole day. And you have to understand, vlogging, or at least the way that I do, costs a lot of time. It takes me like two or three times as long to vlog that I'm doing something because I have to set up my camera every time, I have to make sure the settings are okay, I have to make sure that I'm in the picture or the thing that I want to vlog. So everything takes me much longer. And I knew that and I also knew that this was a hectic day for me but still I really wanted to film this day because I thought it would be very interesting for you to watch. Although it's not like I didn't vlog anything but I had like this whole schedule of everything that I wanted to film for you and I screwed up. Also, I wasn't able to do everything that I wanted to do. So I kind of feel like a fuck up at the moment. And at first I didn't really want to film this and I was like, okay, I'm just going to add another day, you know, to this vlog. So everything is like, I don't know, perfect, I guess. Not perfect, but I don't know like the way I like it I guess but then I was like no I wanna be real with you guys sometimes I just don't have the time to vlog my whole day and sometimes my day just doesn't go the way that I planned so what did I do I did do a lot like it's not that I didn't do nothing so first of all I finished my motivational letter and I finished the whole deadline with all the documents for the scholarship I'm applying to Hopefully I get in, but it's very hard. But please, like, pray for me that I get the scholarship because DC is so freaking expensive, you guys. I did not know that DC would be so expensive, but it is. So I definitely need that scholarship. Uh, and that scholarship is not even, like, it's a lot of money, but it definitely, it costs, like, it covers one month of rent, you know? So it's not like I'm getting this huge amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I still need like a lot but anyway so I did that I was on time with the deadline I finished my motivational letter and all the other documents I had to hand in so I'm very happy about that then I also had class I also did some studying in the university library for um, my ethics 3 course for philosophy so I did like some stuff and I also went to dance class 
which was very intense and I also made some vlog photos <laughs> and what I also did is that I like deleted I think 40% of all the photos that I had on my Instagram because I don't know, I didn't like them anymore and I wanted to stick to a certain team that I was sticking to before this because I feel like it's more me, so... Okay, sorry guys, my camera died. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying that I deleted like half of my Instagram feed because I didn't like the way it looked. So, now it looks like this. I don't know if you can see anything. Wait, let me turn off the brightness. Not sure if you can see anything, but if you want to check it out, check my Instagram, which is ladylike.com. It's also linked down below. And I also did some groceries. The current status is that I'm super tired. My room is a complete mess because I made photos and every time I make photos, everything gets everywhere. I also dropped a big bottle of Chloe perfume and I have glass now on my couch and everything is gone. My couch smells very nice now, but it sucks. This day is just one of those days. But but yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, this is also life. Um, if you can relate to this, let me know in the comments down below because I could definitely use some, I don't know, people that know how this feels, I guess. Okay, sorry guys, I had to do that. Welcome to my little lost apartment and today I'm going to do a home tour for you guys. 